With the FAA computer problems last week leading to nationwide delays and last year's debacle with Continental and Express Jet in Minnesota, you may recall it when that flight load of people were kept on the tarmac for, I think it was, it was either six or eight hours, but it resulted in a $100,000 fine announced yesterday against the airline. It's uh, no wonder airline passengers, frankly, believe traveling is a miserable experience. Kate Hanai is the executive director of FlyersRights.org. So, Kate, this is, is tough. I guess let's just start with this Continental and Express debt situation. So the people on the plane sit for whether it was six or eight hours. They can't get off the plane. And now a year later, Continental Express Jet is fined $100,000. It almost seems like an insultingly low figure. Not only is it insultingly low, but the airline passengers on that plane are not going to see a dime of right. those fines. Mm -hmm. And the fine was not imposed for them sitting for three hours. It was imposed because the airline made a commitment not to hold them longer than three hours in their customer service commitments. So the fine was actually for false advertising. It wasn't really because they held them so long. Oh, that's amazing. That really See, that's is amazing. See, yeah. that's why our legislation is necessary uh, or some kind of regulation is necessary in order to ensure that the airlines have some law they need to abide by and if there are fines imposed, such as in the European Union, where there, a two-hour or more delay, you get compensation, uh, 250 euros or 600 euros, um, then, you know, we seriously need to make sure that passengers who are the ones suffering the losses get a portion, at least, of those fines. So what do you do? I mean, when you're just in a regular pe person, like we've all been in this situation where your luggage is lost or you're sitting on the tarmac, I mean... It almost seems impossible to get anyone to listen to you. And if you do get a frazzled customer service representative, they're just trying to make you go away. You are so right. Um, you know, it started with my event. It actually started in 99 in Detroit. But what we did is not what I would do in the future. And how we've been approaching it, when somebody calls me and says, I'm stuck on the tarmac, on our, we have a toll-free hotline on our website that people can call. The first thing I do is say, do you mind media attention? Uh, I will get the media immediately to the airport if they've been out there for more than three hours uh, and or I will call the airport manager and I will let them know that I'm about to call the media and that's how we get people off planes. It's certainly cumbersome and it's not the way it should be done but if they call us they will get results. It's uncomfortable for the airlines and the airports to have media looking at them uh, making these mistakes and it seems to be the only way absent meaningful rights that we can fix it. Now, the FAA modernization bill, which has our passenger bill of rights language, must pass. If we don't get some type of systems in place uh, by the year 2025, with no intervention, we will have 100% gridlock based on mathematical uh, predictions that have been made by very, very smart people at NASA. So, um, you know, it, it's something that must be addressed in a variety of ways, not just regulations to protect passengers, but how can we prevent it from happening in the future? All right, Kate, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And that Thanks, it also uh, raises the question as we go to commercial about this.